live from Hawaii, the fastest way to fill that hard shaped box, it's Quick Love with your host, Jack Valentine! You see Some everyone them. here is looking for some love tonight. And let's go meet our first contestant of the Quick Love. Your name is? Gina Tingles. Gina Tingles. What a wonderful name, Gina. And tonight we will find you some love. Hello, Gina. How are you doing today? Very well, and yourself? I'm okay, I'm okay. So uh, tell me about yourself. So what do you do? I'm a kindergarten teacher. Kindergarten teacher, wow. So you must be lucky you get apples every day, huh? Yes, a lot. A lot of apples? Yes. How many? Uh, quite a bit, maybe about five or six a day. Macintosh, Granny Smith? I'm not quite sure. Awesome. Gina, are you ready to meet these lovely boys tonight? Yes, I am. Awesome. So let's see uh, contestant number one. Who are you and what do you do, brother? Uh, my name's Tom. I'm 22. I live in Tennessee. I drive a tow truck company and I like to plow in the winter. Contestant number two? Hey, Gina. Um, my name is Kramer, and I'm uh, from the West Coast, and I'm a tattooist, and uh, I'm looking to get closer to you. I'm into tattoos myself. Are you really? Yes. Do you have any? I do. Awesome. Maybe the tattoo guy will be your guy. Like, hey, <laughs> that? All right, so let's get meet uh, contestant number three. Hi, I'm Harry, and I delivered unborn babies. So since we met the contestants and you heard a little bit of what they had to say, are you ready to play our game of quick love? Yes, I am. Let's get it up! Let's do it! Let's get ready to ask these lovely bachelors some questions. Are you ready, Gina? Yes, I am. Let's get it going. Start off with your questions. Thank you. Uh, bachelor number one, if you were an ice cream, what flavor would you be and why? Well, Gina, if I was an ice cream flavor, I would be vanilla so that I can melt my white creamy stuff all over those sweet bosoms of yours. Alright, uh, batch number three, same question. If I was an ice cream flavor, I'd be semen, so you get used to eating me all night. <laughs> you might be going home with him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> question cycle. number two. Uh, if you were stuck on an island with me, what three things would you bring? Yeah, if I was stuck on a desert island with you, I'd probably... I think, wait, I think I got this one. I think I got this one. Yeah. We got a little fight going on over there, huh? I'd bring a soccer ball, a book of matches, and a knife. That's what I would bring. That's what I would bring. This guy's whack. Why would you bring a knife? <laughs> well, in case there's food. I need to hunt for myself. I'm going to an island. I'm, that's, I'm going to take care of myself. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Uh, bachelor number two. Well, until I was interrupted, I'd say, uh, I was going to say I had three things I'd bring to a desert island. Probably be my Sublime CDs, a bottle of champagne, and a gun. Why a gun? Just in case anyone tries to save us. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, bachelor number three. I'd bring romantic music, some massaging oil, and if that doesn't work, some roofies. Question number three. If you were a puppy, what kind of dog would you be? Hell, I'd like to be any dog just so I can sniff your crotch. Question <laughs> number two. We have been dating for a bit, and you see someone trying to pick me up. What would you do? Well, if I see someone trying to pick you up, I trust you. So I wouldn't do anything, unless he gets physical. Then I gotta step in, because I'm a lover and a fighter. <laughs> I like that guy. I'd take him out and date. Yeah, I think it's really cool. This is a question for all the bachelors. If you could take me anywhere in the world, where would you take me and why? If I could take you anywhere in the world, it'd be space, so no one could hear you moan. Oh. Ooh, yeah! Dirty dog, Ooh. dirty dog. That was a good answer, number three. Good answer. High five, brother. High yeah. five. High five. Bachelor number two? I'd probably take it to Bermuda Triangle. That way no one can find us. And bachelor number 
number one. I guess I'm trying to get us an all-inclusive to like Cuba for 590. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe we could, you know, fuck on the pa balcony. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Alright, sorry to cut you off, Gio. <laughs> Producers are telling me it's time for a commercial break. But we'll come right back with new questions and these guys... Holy shit, these guys are fucked, but we'll be right back for Quick Love. Yeah.